switching to core function mode. Life support priority. Warning. DMP shutdown. All systems impaired. Switching to core function mode. Life support priority. Warning. Deep layer protocols engaging. Rerouting system. Just another grunt, I'm afraid. Prophet could have told us more. At least we have the nano gear intact. That's all that really matters. The rest I'll have to improvise once I'm in the suit. Ah, my young friend. I had hoped to spare you consciousness here, but the nano gear is not proving cooperative. Let's get started. Sorry for this betrayal, but I really have no choice. I need the suit. This particular suit, in fact, if I'm to have any hope at all of stopping the set. A simple soldier will not suffice for you. I don't understand what's going on. You're in, Prophet. Your suits learnt the Seth's nano systems. You've got to go back. You're our best hope. You twisted motherfucker! You knew! You knew the suits were symbiotic. You knew what they do to my men. You turned them into dead men walking! I turned them into post-human warriors. You're a soldier. Think of it as necessary sacrifice. You lied to us! Perhaps I was economical with the truth, yes. But what choice did I have? What choice do you have now? The Seth are coming, Prophet. Soon. You think we'll defeat them with ordinary human soldiers? This isn't a war ordinary humans can win. This is the future. Death's an inconvenience now. Nothing more. We are all dead men walking. The suit's rejecting the rip! It's overloading! Stop him. Kill him if you have to, but don't damage the nano gear. Headshots only. Nice try, Tin Man. Now say goodnight. Tara, no! Tara, listen to me! It's okay, you're safe. I'm CIA. Special Operations Group. Recruited out of the SEALs three years ago. I'm the one who ordered your squad to bring Prof and Gould out, yeah. Screwed now, of course. All right, look, there'll be time to explain later. Right now, the Ceph are breaking into this place, and we gotta get Hargreave out. The man is insane. He thinks he's the only competent human being on the planet. But he's got vital knowledge on the Ceph. He stole their technology a hundred years ago at Tunguska. He's been working on it ever since. Three years ago, he was the puppet master behind the mess at Ling Shan that killed my father. He's got some kind of plan for confronting the invasion, and we need to know what it is. He's holed up in the executive level, through that way. 
Heavy security. No one gets in to see him face to face. Believe me, I've tried. You're gonna have to break him. I'll get up to the helipad and secure a transport. Bring him out and meet me there. We fly him out, we take him someplace, we can make him talk. I'll stay on comms and keep you posted. Now go!
crack the labyrinth and you would at least expect to see the Minotaur before it kills you. Ah well, it seems only fair. Come then. Masks off. I am here. Shocked? I would be. I'd revel in it if I were you. That sudden jump of the pulse, the cram of the fight or flight chemicals into the belly. So sweet while it lasts. But it's been very long since I felt any of it. A century or more since my pleasures were anything but cerebral. I took the path Carl Rash refused, the cold road to immortality. I'd hope to wear Prophet's suit myself, take on the weapons he bought us, wear his armor, enter the labyrinth and confront the Minotaur. But now... You... You will have to finish what Prophet began. Get out of there, Alcatraz! No! Wait! There is a final piece of the puzzle you need. There on the desk. Take the syringe. Take the syringe. Take it. 